Two members of the Socorro Independent School District Board of Trustees, as well as a former employee, have been arrested and charged with multiple offenses. Thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. And I'm Andy Morgan. Now, all of this is happening as the district continues to be overseen by the Texas Education Agency for widespread failures. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar is live in downtown El Paso with the charges the trustees are facing and how SISD is responding. Jesus has our top story tonight at 10. And the Monica, we've been outside the El Paso County Detention Facility all evening, waiting to see if we could speak with Socorro ISD trustee Ricardo Castellano after he posted bond, but we did not see him uh, come out. We also tried reaching out to Socorro ISD trustee Pablo Barrera, who was also arrested earlier today, but we had no luck there. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Barrera wouldn't answer our calls or text messages. He was the first Socorro ISD trustee arrested today with charges of official oppression, four counts of oppression or retaliation, improper influence and coercion of a public servant. He was released after posting a bond of $6,000. Meanwhile, trustee Ricardo Castellano and his wife were both arrested just a few hours ago on two charges of obstruction or retaliation. The Socorro Independent School District issued KTSA, KTSM a statement reading, in part, quote, the district was made aware that two current trustees and a former employee were arrested by the El Paso Sheriff's Department earlier today. This is a legal matter and we will co cooperate with law enforcement. The district has no additional information on the matter at this time. End quote. Castellano and his wife were both released on a $4,000 bond and Socorro ISD currently finds itself under conservatorship from the Texas Education Agency. Multiple investigations have revealed an array of issues in how the district has been operating for years. Now it's also important to note that in recent school board meetings, uh, regarding the district's multi-million dollar deficit, Castellano had been very vocal regarding the district's recommendations on how to tackle their financial situation. Reporting from downtown El Paso, Jesus Baltazar, KTSM 9 News.